Hi Booktube, I'm here with a review of Disclaimer by Renee Knight. Um, this book, I wouldn't call it a crime thriller, I would just call it a thriller. It does say on the front that it's got shades of Gone Girl and I can certainly see where that comes from. Um, it's told by two completely unreliable narrators, um, Catherine and Stephen Brigstock, and they alternate chapters. Um, and so you, you're starting to hear bits of this story from two different viewpoints and you get quite the way through and obviously being a totally unreliable narrators you're not entirely sure which version is true and um, you're just hearing you know one person's sort of thoughts and feelings and emotions regarding an event that happened. Um, I don't think I'll be giving too much away if I say that um, Stephen is a retired teacher and Catherine is, um, she's a documentary maker and it starts off where Catherine um, finds a book, she moves into a new um, flat, maisonette, and she finds um, a book on a bedside table which she starts to read and she starts to realise that the book is about her. Um, about an event that happened in her past that she hadn't actually shared with her husband. Um, and Stephen Brigstock turns out to be the person that sent this book to her. Um, that was written by his wife who died seven years previously and he'd actually found it. And it's all to do with um, the death of Stephen's son and Catherine's role in it. I can't give too much away because it would spoil it. Um, but what I will say is it's a really enjoyable read. It's a quick read. Um, you'll race through it. I think I just you know, read it in two sittings, really. Um, I recommend it as a good read. It's not a great book. It's one of those books that's really enjoyable. It's worth a read. Um, I think I gave it about three and a half stars, something like that. So it's definitely worth reading. Um, it will entertain you. It will thrill you. Um, you are wondering as you go through it what's happening, what's the big reveal, what's what's actually happened with this as you get little snippets and little breadcrumb trails as you go through. Um, it's one of those books that would make a really good, you know, um, like Sunday night drama or, you know, like they have on the telly, a three-parter that, that keeps you hooked. Um, so, yeah, it's definitely worth a read. Um, it's I can't say that you actually like any of the characters in it. They're all pretty vile. Um, I didn't sort of endear, find any of the characters endearing, um, but I did quite like the writing style. It was quite snappy, it was pacey, um, it keeps you turning the pages, so I recommend it if you're after a quick thriller, um, and yeah, go for it. It's worth a read, it'll be quick, it's great, and enjoy. I liked it.